Hi, I'm Carolyn, and this video is about white jeans. This is a staple piece we all need in our wardrobe. I guess we don't really need anything, but when we're in our 50s and 60s and we want something, I think it should become a need. <laughs> Just my opinion. This is to wet your whistle, to give you a little inspiration to get into your closet and see all the things that go beautifully with white jeans. So let's get started. So in this try on, I have two jeans that I'm going to be showcasing. I think you want something that's a classic jean when it comes to white denim because you need to spend more money on white denim. You want it to be good quality because you don't want it to be see-through, number one, so you want it to be a little thicker and you want it to have a really good fit because white can be unforgiving. I usually maybe go a size up. It, you know, it really depends on the brand that you're wearing. So if you have to go up or you need to go down, like do not get obsessed over what your size is. Wear what fits. Ladies, we are beautiful no matter what our size. And that is a fact. So I picked a modern skinny and I say modern skinny because it's not quite as skin tight as skinnies used to be. And I picked a straight leg. I think those two are perfection and a great staple that you won't mind spending more money on and that is gonna last you many years. So let's start with our number one casual look. Just love this Veronica Beard baseball t-shirt. It gives you such a casual, cool kind of look, but if you look for things that have details that make them interesting, it's no longer just an ordinary baseball shirt, but now it's elevated. These cute little subtle puff sleeves just take it to a level that makes it special. Fashion is finding things that make you feel good. Who cares what other people think? When you put it on, look in the mirror and what do you think? So even with a casual look, that you just wanna feel super comfortable in, you don't want it to be fussy, you can step it up a few notches by maybe throwing on a belt or putting on a cute little crossbody or throwing on a baseball cap, which keeps it really casual, but again, look for the details. This baseball cap is just something that I got, it's a faux leather baseball cap, but it makes it look kind of special because it's doesn't say Nike across it, or it just looks a little more special because it looks like you're wearing a leather baseball cap. And that's a little different. And of course, the ultimate classy look is black on white. So you can just take your white jeans, throw on, I mean, this top that I'm wearing here is not expensive. I got it from Nordstrom and it's lightweight. So it feels comfortable as we're going into spring. You don't want anything heavy. So it's lightweight, even though it has long sleeves, but it's still throwing it on with a pair of black heels or any kind of nude heels would look good with this too. And then put a nice bag with it. And this is going out material. And then my personal favorite look with any color is a monochromatic look. I just love that classic look of all the same tone. And I say tone because you don't want it to be all the exact same color. You want it to be in the same tones. Adding layers that are of the same family, but just a little different. And then making it different fabrics too different textures, that really adds to the interest of it. So here you have this linen button down, so it's a nice sturdy feel to it because of the linen that's in it. And I like this kind of middle of the road shoe. I find something that's a slide, gives it more of a casual feel. And then when you go with a chunkier heel, that helps you to feel a little more elevated, but still so comfortable. I don't know, I'm sorry, but I'm 59 and I wanna be comfortable. And the number one place I wanna be comfortable is my feet. I'm embracing the way my body is changing and my body is saying, keep my little puppies feeling comfortable. 
And since we're kind of transitioning from winter into spring and then we're going on to summer, a nice tank goes really well in this kind of transitional stage with a jacket. So throw on a tank. If it starts out chilly, you have a little jacket with it. As it warms up, you take the jacket off. As it cools down again, you got your jacket. In my case, here in Dallas, it gets hot. We are already getting into the 90s, but I always want a jacket because anywhere you go, that air conditioning, oh my gosh, I'm freezing. So I love a cute little tank and you can do this silk one casual or you can glam it up. That's kind of what makes silk special. You can do it either way. Or another thing you can do is just throw on a big oversized button down. I am really obsessing over this striped one. Just throwing on an oversized shirt is just a great way to layer up. And taking any of these outfits is really easy just by switching out the heels, switching out the bag. You can take it from casual to going out to dinner. This look by tucking in the silk tank all the way around, throwing on a little blazer over top. And I do think it's kind of easier to throw on heels with a skinny jean and make it look really going out. Okay, so one of my all time favorite looks is brown with white. I think it's so classy, love it. This oversized brown blazer I think is super cool. It gives you that modern feel. You can also take the same blazer, put a belt with it, and it makes it a very classic look. So it's not really trendy at all when you belt it. So this blazer really will take you from being kind of having that modern edge to being something super classic. Then you have navy and black. I think navy is the ultimate classic color. It screams classic. Then throw on a black bag, classy and elegant. That's what we are in our 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond. And this spring, I am obsessing over this oversized striped shirt that I got. It's classic but still seems to have a very modern edge to it. Just the oversizedness of it. Oversizedness, is that a word? <laughs> it is now. Adding hats is really a great accessory because it makes your outfit special, really special. Anytime I go out with a hat on, somebody stops me, doesn't comment on the hat, just the outfit, just tells me the outfit looks so cute. And then the beauty of wearing white is that it's, the perfect canvas for throwing on a pop of color. You just pick whatever your favorite color is, something bright, something pretty, something that screams spring. You can do just a little tiny pop with an earring. You can do a little pop with a shoe. You can do a little splash with a handbag, but it's just the perfect base for throwing on whatever your favorite color is. And then a really fun way to transition from spring into summer is to have one of these little matching tank and sweaters. And I'm really digging this blue color. It's the color I've been gravitating towards this spring. This one is a really pretty blue, but pick a color that calls your name that makes you feel fresh and springish. And just having the flexibility of being able to take it on and off is just a great option. Ladies, I could have gone on all day, but I had to cut it short. So get into your closet. There are so many options. You're gonna have so much fun just going through and mix and matching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. As always, I have the best time with all of you. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. If you give me a like, I always tell you, it makes my heart sing. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.